people, let me tell you about my new best friend, the Joyo Jam Buddy. What's up, everybody? My name is Jonathan. Welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. As always, I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be checking out the Joyo Jam Buddy. This is a sponsored video by Joyo. They did send this product out for the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Joyo, for doing that. I greatly appreciate it. There are links in the description if you want to go check one of these out for yourself. They're non-affiliate links, so I'm not going to be making any money if you do click those links and buy something from them. I'm just spreading the good word about a good product. And on that note, as you guys know, I'm 100% honest in all of my reviews, sponsored or not, I do genuinely think from the time that I've spent with this that this is a good product. I've had it for a couple days, trying to spend some time with it, trying to learn it, not that I really need to learn much because it is a fairly simple unit, which is a good thing. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what you get with this thing. I'll play it, obviously. We'll play it through camera audio so you can see what it sounds like in the room. I'll use the headphone jack here out into my interface. Heck. I may even mic up the 40 millimeter speakers that are at the top of this thing. Stick around and we'll see if, if that comes to fruition. But really quickly, this again is the Joyo Jam Buddy. So it's a fairly simple unit. Like I said before, it's a dual channel pedal guitar amplifier, which I think the pedal part of this kind of makes it stand out from things like the Katana Mini. Or in my humble opinion, what I think is its direct competitor, the Black Star Fly 3. Maybe I'll talk about that more in just a minute, but back to the Joyo Jam Buddy here. So you have two channels here. You have a clean and a dirty channel or an overdrive channel or a drive channel, whatever you want to call it. And then you have two different drive modes for each of those channels. So you have a classic drive mode and a high gain drive mode. You have these two little silver switches right here. This one controls the power, obviously turn it on and off. Then you have the built-in Bluetooth, so you can sync your phone to it, play your favorite music to it while you play along with your favorite songs, whatever the case may be. Then you got a bunch of these big knobs up here that do a lot of magical things. Like this one right here, along with these two smaller ones, that controls your built-in delay, which is always nice to have on these. The delay on this does sound pretty good, so you have your delay mix, you have your delay feedback as this little knob at the top, and your delay time as this little one on the bottom. You have your master volume knob right here, you have a master tone, so just one tone knob, Going to zero darkens your tone, going up towards 10 will brighten your tone. And then what I think is really cool is you have two individual gain knobs for each of your channels. So you have a drive gain and a clean gain. As I said up here on this metal grill that is emblazoned with the beautiful Joyo logo there, you have two 40 millimeter speakers. So very small speakers, there's two of them in there, but don't let that fool you because this thing sounds really nice in the room. It's not gonna blow your head off, but I mean, it's very loud for what it is. You plug your guitar in over here, as I mentioned before, you have a headphone jack here. This does come with a nine volt power supply, but you may notice that I'm holding it in my hand. That's because this thing runs on a battery. I'm gonna go ahead and just play through some of the tones here through camera audio first, then we'll go through the headphone jack into my interface. And then, like I said, depending on how I feel or if I think it produces decent results, I'll probably mic up these speakers. So let's see what kind of results we get with the Joyo Jam Buddy.
So final thoughts and opinions and all that other kind of stuff on the Joyo Jam Buddy. You're probably asking, who the heck is this thing for? Really anybody. If you play guitar, I think it's good to have some kind of small, portable, something amp kicking around. And this is one of those things that definitely fits the bill for what I would have kicking around a studio. This thing is great for Again, just general practice. If you're a beginner, this is a great affordable option for you to get into, you know, learning how to craft tones. You can't really do much as far as crafting tones per se, but to get the general feel of how like an amp works, all that kind of stuff, control your gain, figure out which tones you like. It's really simple. With the one tone knob, the gain for each channel, which I think is really cool because the Black Star Fly 3 does not have a gain for each channel. It's just, you set the gain and that's it, which I know I keep comparing this to the Black Star Fly 3, but again, I think this is probably a direct competitor to that. Based on the features, based on the wattage even, I think that's a three watt amp, I think this is a four watt amp, so I mean, the wattage is the same, they're about the same, you know, loudness sonically, you know? But I really like this, I genuinely do like this. You heard through the camera audio that it sounds, you know, nice without the, the tiny speakers in it, it's not like the fullest sound in the world, but you can counter that by turning the tone down a little bit if you need a bit of a darker tone. It does brighten up quite a bit. It does get pretty dark. The gain in this doesn't break up the speakers where it's that nasty, you know, gravelly kind of sound. It sounds like a proper distortion. And you heard through the headphone jack here into my interface that it sounds pretty good too. This would be an awesome tool to have if you need something to record a quick demo or, you know, if you're playing through like a speaker in a small, you know, kind of maybe basement show or something for like a small audience or you just need something to kind of like sound check something. I mean, this is a great tool to have, honestly. And it's it feels like it's built very sturdily. So it's it, it feels like a nice piece of equipment, which is always a plus. So there you go, guys. There is my video, my review, my thumbs up on the Joyo Jam Buddy. Again, this was a sponsored video, but all of my opinions are mine, regardless of whether it's sponsored or not. You guys know how it works here. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the like button, all the good YouTube stuff. There are links in the description where you can go and check out the Joyo Jam Buddy for yourself. Again, they're not affiliate links, so I'm not making any money. If you click on those and purchase anything, just spreading the good word on a good product, like I said at the beginning of the video. Again, make sure you do all the good YouTube stuff. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.